Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Grimrock 2. We're making uh, pretty good progress down here in the sewers. Uh, let's get a, bit of, a little bit of light here. Uh, there is this section over here where we need to, uh, to get in and have a look. Now there is a power gem as you can see over there. I'm um, just going to jump down and see if we can get through. We can't get through unfortunately. So let's just grab um, a healing potion here and we've um, been over overloaded as well which is not good. So it's going to grab this uh, this other weed, and we'll head up the stairs and um, see if I can sort out, sort out my uh, my luggage. Let's see what we've got here. Now, Rast and the Rat is carrying along this hand cannon, which is really heavy. Let me just drop these to these uh, rocks for a second. Um, so I'm hoping he can use that once he skills up in his firearms skill. Is that what needs to happen? Uh, requires firearms four, and he has firearms 3 at the moment so he does need to skill up once more before he can actually use that weapon and it's a huge weapon as well so it's um it's from the rattling boss and it has damage 40 to 120 so that is going to be uh, really awesome just gonna have a look at this exit first of all and uh, see what we have out here now we're in the hamlet of storm breach Oh gosh, not one of these guys again. Not one of these guys again. Oh, he hits really hard. 148 damage in a single hit. Oh, that's crazy. Craziness. I'm going to have to just uh, really hit and run with this guy. I could throw something at him, actually. Do I have anything I can throw at him? Frost bomb, lightning bomb. I might just save those for the time being. Um, ah, oh, move, move. So, I think we've almost finished the sewers down below. There's a few little areas that we need to, uh, to look at. Um, so I'm not sure if this area up here, the, the storm, storm beach, storm breach, is going to be a huge area. Oops. Oh no! You turkey! You turkey! All right, let me take out this guy quickly and uh, run back to the crystal. And um, oh gosh, let's see if I can hit him on, set him on fire again. Which is the best thing to do. He's a, he's a pretty tough bugger, that's for sure. Come on, let's take this guy out. He can't be that tough. There we go, we got him, finally. Um, so let's just grab the healing... Um, the mud, mud, mud drop cap, I should say. Um, over there, and we'll pick up... What else? Oh, he's got a nice big club here as well. A spiked club. Can we have a look at this? Um, a spike club. A damage 20 to 61 plus strength, which is pretty awesome, but an accuracy minus 20. Okay, it's so a little bit better than the... Um, what is it? Than the Great Axe? It's a little bit better than the Great Axe, but the accuracy minus 20 is not good. Um, what I'm going to do is um, just head straight back down to the the crystal down here. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just back at the crystal here. There is another exit here, the sewer exit east. So I think we might have a look um, up here just while we're here and see see what we can find. It looks like we've got a couple of um, those turtles here. So let's... We should be able to take them out fairly easily. And uh, they're dropping a lot of food, which is good. So I might as well grab, grab that food. And we've got some eggs here as well. Which would be great for... Uh, for Jimbo the third, he really loves those eggs. They give him a chance to, to skill up, I think. He can gain new abilities when he does eat those eggs. Actually, not not Jimbo, I'm giving them to the wrong person. It's uh it's Lissa here, the lizard. Let's uh, let's get this right. Lissa has the chance to to gain a new ability when he eats those eggs. Um, there's a few of them around here too, so he hopefully will be able to, to rank up. 
Oops. There we go, we got the meat. Some nice meat here as well. Um, <laughs> everyone's getting uh, getting overloaded here. So I'm, I'm going to have to drop a few things. Let's get a few uh, healing potions over there in the front line. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, these guys can't do too much damage to me at the moment because I am quite, uh, quite tough. Let's have a look at this. There we go. I can, uh, barely, barely notice them as they're trying to hit me. There we go. Okay, everyone is overloaded at the moment. Um, let's check out this... My goodness, what is that thing over there? Looks like a... Uh-oh. He's pretty fast as well. Oh, he hits hard. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's... He's so fast. Oh my goodness. He's... Fast as anything. I can't... He's going to take me out, I don't believe it. This guy's going to take me out. Oh, got him. Oh my goodness. That is just crazy. Oh, no. Whatever that... Whatever that thing was, it was uh, really, really fast. There we go. I'm going to have to rest up here, actually. Um, there's quite a few other characters over there, so let's have a bit of food. <coughs> Um, let's give the cheese to Rastan, because that's just what he likes to eat. Um, I I'm, I'm do have a lot of food here, actually. I'm um, kind of loaded up on food. Let's eat a couple of things, and... Um, can't eat when you're dead, unfortunately. <laughs> can't, uh, don't need to eat when you're dead. Um, we have a little bit of uh, some ruins here. Looks like we've got another egg as well. Um, so I'll grab that and take that with me. Now, it looked like there was a secret spot. Let's just break down these reeds. I'm just going to change these around here so we can use the big the big sword there. Um, I'm just going to have a bit of a rest here. Hopefully no one is going to sneak up on me. And Rastin's not doing well. Let's have a look at this. Uh, Rastin's not able to heal up. No health regeneration while he has a, a chest injury. So that's not... Uh, <clears throat> that's not good at all. Um, we have... What do we have here? We have the, the button... Puzzle. <clears throat> so we can do this first. Um, otherwise we can head off to the, the secret area down here. Let's head off to the secret area over here and uh, see if we can find anything. Do we have any more herbs or anything else over here? Let's just have a quick look. Looks like I grabbed. Looks like I have grabbed everything. And uh, is the sun just coming up? Okay, we got some more meat. Okay, this is um, quite a big area here, actually. I should probably go back into the uh, into the sewers and, and finish that off first. A little bit more... <clears throat> is that mud wart? There, we do have a, a power gem in there, though. Um, so let's go back and finish off the uh, the first puzzle. Um, and get that, see if we can get that completed before we, uh, we carry on. Um, obviously, there's a, a bit we need to explore here. And look, the... The water looks almost kind of yellowy green over there as well. It's definitely a really strange, strange colour to that uh, to that water. Um, so let's see if we can figure out this puzzle. 
Um, we have three buttons here and a closed gate with a chest inside. So if we press the buttons... Aha! Okay, so I think we start with this one. It's a... No. Okay, what we need to do, I think, is um, click these buttons in the right order. So... <clears throat> and uh, you know you're clicking them in the right order because they'll make a, a specific clicking noise. Just like that. So one... So two, three, four, no, okay, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there we go, we did it, Whew. okay, now we can open this chest, I only have two lock picks. Um, so what I might do is actually save the game first and uh, see what's in there. If it's something good, then I'll continue on. If it's not that good, I, I won't worry about it. Um, okay, so let's check out and see what's inside. Um, oh, not one of these guys again. No. Oh, no, you locked me in there too. Oh, gosh. I got pushed back, unfortunately, and uh, and locked in here. Let's just, let's just, oh no, no I'm gone, I can't believe that, oh how ridiculous, see if I can take him out, he might drop something interesting, no, okay so I'm not going to open this lock, I'm not going to waste a lock pick on, on uh, that, uh, that, uh, that treasure chest monster there, so I'm actually going to head back down, we're going to go to the, uh, the crystal again, I'm going to sort out my inventory, um, so I might just wait here. Um, I'm going to sort out my inventory and I'll um, get the video rolling again once I've done all of that. Okay, so I've saved the game and I've sorted out my inventory so all of the guys aren't uh, overburdened at the moment. I've ha I have had to drop uh, quite a bit of stuff. Mainly these, uh, these big wooden boxes are quite heavy and some armour as well. Just so that I, I do have um, the space. Now we can either keep going on down in the sewers here and uh, kind of explore this space up here and this space down here. I'm kind of interested to get out of the sewers for a little while though and uh, keep having a look up here at uh, Storm Storm Beach. Is it Storm Beach or Storm Breach? Hamlet of Storm Breach. Okay, so yeah, it'd be interesting to, uh, to continue on having a look um, up here. I'm kind of getting a bit tired down here, there in the sewers and uh, I'd like to uh, to see what's, what's out here. I want to enjoy the sun while it is daytime and uh, maybe if night time falls then uh, we can head back into the sewers again it won't matter too much. Um, so let's just have a look around here and see what uh, what we can find. Hopefully I don't come across any more of those... I don't know what it was, a wolf or... Oh, there's another one. Oh, I hate those guys. Ah, uh, they are not good, not good at all. Let's get some... Need somewhere where I can, I can fight this guy. Just out here is fine. Let's see if I can we weaken him a little bit. Um... Oh, there's another troll. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, God. I can't move. Oh, no. All right, bad idea coming up here. Bad idea. Nah, no, I'm gone, I'm gone. Alright, let's... Okay, you know what? That was a bad idea. Let's continue on down in the sewers. Let's see if we can beef, beef up our characters a little bit. Maybe we'll be able to take on those... Whatever they are. Weasels or something. Giant weasels or whatever they are. They're so quick. It's ridiculous. Um, so what we're going to do is see if we can head over to this section over here. We've got some mermen over there. Um, I wonder if there is... Let's just make sure we've got some light... Some magical light. And uh, let's see, we've got some more etherweed. So I'll grab that. That'll be nice. Just going to take a breath here. And uh, I think we're going to head under the... Um, let's see if we can head under this gate, actually. Let's see if this is actually going to work. Um, no, it's closed. Oh, this one's open. Here we go. Okay, we need a ladder. Here we go. Here's a ladder. Okay, beautiful. 
actually let's um get this going. There we go, okay. Phew, we took them out fairly quickly there. I remember the first time I came across those guys, they were really hard to... Well, not really hard, but they were, they were pretty tough. Oh no! I hate that thing. <laughs> I don't know where it comes from. Oh gosh, I can't stop it though. Oh, here we go, here we go. I... Oh gosh. I did hit him a little bit. Move these guys around. Oh gosh, that's wrong. Whew. Okay. Um. If I can have a bit of a rest here in the corner, let me just have a have a little bit of a rest. Hopefully, no one's gonna gonna sneak up on me. Uh, Raston's damaged again. He's damaged his uh, his chest, and he can't heal up. Um. So we're just gonna have to try and look after him as as best as we can. Let's have a look and see if... Oh, I thought there was another fire elemental there. It's a very large, wide open space here. Uh, I'm sure there's, there's going to be a lot of stuff in the... Um, in the water there as well. It's a little bit dark. I guess there's just not that many torches around the place here. Um, so that's going back into the area that we have explored. Let's go around here, see if see what we can find. Um, okay, lots of ah, gosh. Uh, anything here? Any secret buttons? Now I am playing... Oh gosh. Got, got a little bit cornered here. <clears throat> I am playing this for the uh, the first time, so I, I may, miss, may, may be missing a lot of secrets here. Um, I haven't looked at any, uh, any how-tos or walkthroughs or anything like that, so um, it could... I could be missing a lot of stuff, but um, that's part of the, the fun of the game, part of the challenge. Trying to see how much how much of it I can I can uncover. Um, okay, it looks like I've kind of almost explored all of this all of the the top area here. This is a huge room, isn't it? Absolutely massive. Just huge open kind of cavernous room here. Um, anything on the walls? Can I pull this chain? No, I can't pull that chain. There's a chest in there as well. Okay, hopefully that's the last of them. And it looks like there's a, another chest in there. There's a couple of chests that we can uh, we can get to if we can find out how to get to them. So um, let's have a look down here, see what we can find. Uh, there's a crossbow quarrel. Not sure if I want to use those in the future. Um, did I see a button there? No. All right, let's go grab a, uh, a breath of breath of air quickly. Whew. Okay, let's head straight across here. There's another ladder uh, that we will be able to, to get up. Take a bit of a breath there as well. And now there is another ladder this way. Grab the other weed, and where is this ladder? There we are.
Um, I suppose there's going to be secrets down the bottom, aren't there? In these, uh, maybe there's uh, some buttons we need to press down on these walls. It's a bit hard to uh, kind of explore them, though, when you've got kind of limited time down here. Can I find anything down here? That's the question. Not finding anything so far. Uh, let's head off into the into the center area and uh, see what we can find here. Is there anything? I don't see anything. It's a little bit um, a little bit anticlimactic actually. That uh, I haven't been able to see anything down here. There's got to be a secret down here somewhere, surely. But um, it is a little bit anticlimactic uh, coming down here into this huge cavernous room and there's just nothing here. There's got to be a secret around here somewhere. Surely. Got to open these, open these doors somehow. There must be a way to open these doors. Um, I've kind of just pretty much... Oh, let's keep going. Let's keep going in this water and see what we can find. It's got to be something. There's more ether weed. Great. Alright, gonna be running out of air soon. Let's quickly jump up here. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I really can't. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I don't really know what to do here. Um, these are making... These... I'm just having a look at this map, and they're, they are making interesting shapes here. And I wonder if there's anything about these shapes... Um, Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Tetris, actually. These, uh, these, the shapes of these little islands here. And I haven't been onto this one, actually, have I? So I've uh, left that to those pellets there. Um, anyway, I can't see any secrets here. Um, the, the islands are definitely an interesting shape. Maybe it's just the way. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. I don't know. But um, let's grab those pellets. And I guess we'll head out of here. We'll head up to um, to Storm Storm Breach. Um, I am going to have to take on those, uh, those, those giant rats, giant weasels somehow. Um, so let's just head back. Um, we're going to have to go under the water here. Let's head back here. I have to have a think about that one. I'm not exactly sure how to, how to get through that. Uh, for now, I'm just going to head back to the um, to the crystal once more, heal up, uh, heal up Rastin, who's, who's damaged his his chest once more. Um, there is another exit, though. There's another exit over here which I can have a look at. Um, so we could try that that exit. Let's quickly head over there and see what's what's over in that direction. Um, okay, so this is the uh, the sewer exit south. Let's head up and see what we have over here. Oh, this is where we took out the uh, the troll, and uh, I went back to the crystal and uh, completely forgot about this area. But it looks like we do have a um, another temple here. We have another temple. Uh, we have a little face. 
If you wish to enter crystal mines, you must take the way of the snail. Okay, so the way of the snail, I think, is the, the slow path. There was a little, um, a little key, a little lock with a sign that said this is the short path. Um, so it looks like we, if we want to enter the crystal mines, we will have to go a different way. And I wasn't planning on taking the short path anyway, so... Um, yeah, we hopefully will come across those crystal mines. Okay, bring forth four power gems. We've seen that one before. Follow the footsteps of Kilhagen the Wise. Uh, Kilhagen has been uh, on this island before. And this is the elemental shrine of air. Air is the ruin of dexterity, storms, and flight. Northeast is whence the forces of air are strongest. So this is the shrine of air. What I might do is just close this off. We have a bit of a rest in here. Let's just mark this off on our map as the Shrine of Air. And uh, we're going to sit here and recover a little bit and uh, take a bit of a breath in this shrine. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all again for the next episode tomorrow. Bye for now.